would like lift off they'll like say who's that who are all these people acting they're very clever I play uncle and my real name's uncle. I'm sorry, Max. I won't be a dinosaur anymore. Dinosaurs are extinct. I play Paul Jordan. And I'm Luke Carroll in real life. Come on! Follow the leader! Down, Paul! Paul John's not like me, because he hangs around little kids. Oh, same age. Max is the same age, but in real life, I hang around older people. Can't handle it, hey? All the babies can drop out now. We're not babies! Come on, now. Paul's character is like taking over my own character. How Paul hangs around these little kids. Well, like, when I go back to Sydney, you'll hang around these little kids. No, look who done! Oh, 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 I better take you back to the theater. I'm sorry, Nipper. You'll turn up somewhere. I'm Nipper good. is different by Paul because he does it because he doesn't want to take dolls everywhere he goes. Hey, you see, let's pick up a story. Now we see. Nothing about water. Remember, it see, no more adventures without me. Good night, EC. Me, Erin, who plays Poss. Got any brothers and sisters? I've got a brother. That's his bed. He eats spaghetti all the time. I like spaghetti. Do you? Poss seems to like things that Erin doesn't. Poss likes spaghetti, but I do. But not spaghetti with meat in it. Poss likes that spaghetti, but I like spaghetti out of a can. And I like baked beans, too. But that Poss is different. Oh, Poss likes baked beans and spaghetti, too. But I'm playing two parts at the moment. Sometimes I think I'm ugly.
And I must be ugly too. No, you're pretty. My name is Maria and I play Kim. <laughs> I guess once you're a family, you're a family, huh? But I thought you wanted parents who didn't have to work so much. Yeah. I have to play and pretend that I'm adopted. <laughs> yeah, my dad's funny. He makes me and my mum laugh. <laughs> and my mum's good too. She's proud of me. And they both help me a lot. And love you a lot. My name's Robert. Um, my coat and I'm... Uh, my... so worried. James sounds like a great guy. He's in the role of bleeding like you. My phone back. Let me take some of these for you. Don't take a on back. Who will laugh at me? No, he won't. Why should he? Because I'm big. And I talk funny. No, you don't. I do. I'm embarrassed. You're not embarrassed around us. You're different. I know you. What does the director do? Um, tell them positions. Yeah. Um, looks it in the camera sometimes to get the positions. Right. Frames the picture. Mm. Yeah. Does and the director ever talk to you about the story? And he tells them what to do, and, and he comes in and sees how we're going with the lines. Mm -hmm. yeah. Who's the most important person on a film set? Director. Oh, I thought you were going to say the caterer. Because <laughs> if the director, you, 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 you won't know what to do. Julie was our dialogue coach when we first started up until we finished studio. Mr. Fish masks to load it, so you're having a good laugh, yeah? <laughs> Before we go on the scene, we go with Julie Forsyth and we learn our lines and she shows us expressions and that. And you say, It's he's mine. It's he's mine. Give him to me. He's mine. He's mine. And then no, you say, give him back. Give him back. And he's not yours. Straight away you say, no, you're hurting his seat. No, you're hurting his seat. And then you drop this, drop this, drop. And then you turn with his seat and then it'll be free. It's not just a matter of teaching the kids the words. You have to get, teach them what the intentions are. You have to give them some means of, of how to express what their character is saying at the time. And then we go on to set and we block through with the director. When you block through, yeah, get positions right and make sure that the camera can see you without another camera getting in the way. Take that eye line, please, Maria, to where I asked you to look at it, James. I don't think that's right. I think it needs to be out of this way. Turbo arrived. Okay. And? Yeah, there it is. You can't send the whip back. No, it's not. And action. Action. No, no, no. Packing everything up. Start again. Start again. Three, two, um, 9.26. And then we learn through our lines and do the actions and that. Stand by, Ross. On Action. Okay, kids, I, um, I want you to uh, stand there, and then when I say action, I want you to turn around and, oh, look at the bird up there. I got a sore thumb. Can I go to the toilet? I'm hungry. Is this the last shot, please? You remember that? We always used to say that, and Erin. Yeah, yeah, right. Especially two girls kept on saying, can I go to the toilet? And you were the one that always said, is this the last shot? I want to go home. <laughs> I only like to do a scene once. Yeah. Okay, Martin. Okay. okay. Oh, you almost okay. hit me. Recording. This is a crocodile. Okay, Mandy. He ate you. Okay, here we go. Get ready. Here we go. Get ready. 
Because when you do it again and again, you get tired and sick of the same scene. No more crocodiles. More crocodiles have gone. Okay. I like to do a scene over and over. If I have Mark Mitchell in it because he's entertaining, he's so funny. In between scenes, like he do, he'll do funny faces to entertain us. And you know how Max is deaf, he, like especially for him. Who are these people? You'll be laughing on the other side of your face. When I first met them, uh, Aaron Poss came up to me after about 40 minutes and said, Steve told us that you'd make us laugh. So far, you haven't said anything remotely funny. And I said, go bite your bum. They all fell about. And I thought, right, I've got their number. Later she came to me, uh, laugh, they all laughed, Poss especially, Erin especially. And she came to me later and said, still laughing, that was very good, it was very good. We had to find children who were um, outward going and uh, who could in fact um, respond well to directors. I find it hard acting because I have to get up so early and it takes a long time to get to all the different locations. Oh, it would be hard for you to know that. Well, some of the lines are pretty hard, but some of them are pretty cinchy easy. It's not hard to pretend. It does feel real for me because I really get into it, and I, I'll concentrate when I get down there. All right, what am I doing? It's good fun, but sometimes very really hard. I never get nervous. I think we've got away with that one. Beverly can see them. No, that's gone. Beverly's not in there. We've mm. taken that line Showing out. have one line? Yeah. I have two. Yep. I only have one line. They're astonishingly good. I never doubted they would be. I had to be in tears yesterday with this eye drop saline stuff in two different scenes. When I'm acting sad, it's easy. I think of something sad, Nick put some teardrops in my eyes sometimes. Because they, they were the first times I was feeling sad. What's happened? All the others said they'd do it, but they didn't. Gee, and Sally and Janine. You don't try to please people who treat you like that. Real friends accept you for yourself, for what you are. Just be yourself. I'm Poss Burke, aren't I? Well, one scene, Nip went, Nipper was feeling sad that he had to put EC away. I was on that day, I think, or was offset. He was, he was offset, but he, but he had to do a scene afterwards or something. Yeah, and I told Nipper how it would feel, because I've had a doll before and I've had to let him go. I'm sorry, see, but I have to grow up. I'll come and see you all the time, but not magic friends, just good friends. I said to Nipa, Nipa, you have to probably cry. It's going to be cold tonight, actually, because of the storm. But you have to be very, very sad because it's like losing your very, very best friend if you lose your doll. Yeah, like if, like if Papa died. I'm sorry, you see, but I'm four years old. I'm grown up now. Nipple was sad because he sees his best friend. And the other thing that was hard I couldn't do was when I was a dinosaur and I had to whip the sand cars with Puss and Kim, but I couldn't. So someone had to, like, Mama, whip it. Want to be a dragon, Aku? I'm not a dragon, I'm a dinosaur. Oh, you did that on purpose. Yeah, that was me. Sometimes it's not true and sometimes it is. Like when I was up on the tree, 
I thought I was going to fall, but I had a harness on. I promise you, you won't fall. It's a rehearsal, eh? If I fall, this would be holding me up. Oh, uh, if I lose my lines, Julie's there too. She's got a script and that. She just tells us. Here we go, and action. That man looks like Mr. Fisher's grandfather. Oh, lollies! Look at them all. Oh, wow, look at that car. So, Robert, 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 exactly as we did that time, okay? You need to repeat what we did that time. Okay, take two, okay? Thanks, mate. I love tutoring and stuff like that. I've learnt a lot of things. Like, um, because we have our own private teacher here. And you forget the cans now and you just scream it out. Oh, I remember that one? Why, what, what's the answer? Seven, I don't eight, know. Nine. Why was this, why was six sad? Because, because seven, eight, eight nine. nine. Get it? Seven, eight, eight nine. 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 Get it? Eight. Lift off is normally about us kids doing travels in Lotus. Whenever I'm sad, I go to the lift and talk to her. Your eyes are leaking, Kim. Do they hurt? I hear pass. She's my best friend. I heard her, and deep down, I know I shouldn't have. Why did you hit your best friend? Because she was right. I am scared of putting my head under water. But you have water in your eyes right now. But that's different. But sometimes she really makes me mad because she always unjumbles stuff. Lotus is a bit cuckoo sometimes. She gets things muddled up and she doesn't understand things. She's turned into a real beast. That's not funny, Lotus. Sorry. I wonder why she's changed so much. It's like there were two Akus. Yeah, one minute she's good, and the next minute she's terrible. Human beings never change. Not that much. Pulse memory yields 52 entries. Difference analysis is high. Lots of different pulses. Wow. Well, you never change, Lotus, and that must be really boring. Incorrect. Lotus changes all the time. Change, switch, alter, jump. Ah, Lotus! Stop! Stop, Lotus! 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 Stop, Lot
green screen. Just, Casey and Kay, and just come back on your spots again. Now they're on a mountain. It's a snow mountain. You're going to be on a snow mountain, I think. I think EC's magic because they're usually normal dolls, just dolls, and they don't do nothing. Some might crawl or something, but they need batteries for that. But EC, you don't need no batteries, and I don't know. He, just does things without batteries and he's alive. You know, he's really alive. I think the crew has been exceptionally good with the children in that they still play with the children. I mean, they're very firm about what they must do when they should do it, but then when they've done that, they will go back to a banter and play and relax with them, and that's really important. The crew are very, very nice, very strong. Here we go. Is it? Okay. Go on. Hey! I like playing with all the children and stuff. Yeah, it sparkles. Look. We're going to do the scene again. Look, it's going sparkles. Okay. Look, it's sparkling. Look, look, look. I can see it. I can see it. When we're off set, we normally um, play together and when we're on set, mostly um, me and Poss have fights. Off set, we're yes. the best friend. We're, yeah, we're yeah. the best friend. But sometimes, at the end of the story, me and Poss normally make up friends. We just saw each other and we liked each other. Loved each other. <laughs> Look how they build to the ball ball. Um, he very kind, he helped me a lot. Paul was our kind of barometer. He's got so much energy, it's, it's astounding. Paul would run us ragged, wouldn't you? He'd spend lunchtime running around and dragging us into all kinds of games and things like that. I, I prefer on location because it's, you can see different places in that. And you're in the studio, you're stuck in and you don't get enough exercise. No, because you're not that bored. Because. Low cotton, learn things. You can learn everything from a low cotton. You might learn and go in low cotton. Can we have them on their end marks, please? Okay, first in position. In the studio, the ABC. Oh. Mr. Louvier is in a studio up that lane. That's what we're imagining. It's very hard to see from the eyes of a child, and that's what they've taught me. I'd kind of forgotten what it was like to even place a camera down at this level and see what the world looks like from this level because um, one of the styles of the production is we tried to keep the camera angles down very low so we were looking at it from a child's perspective. Mostly, I like singing. So when they do one, two, three, you do one, two, so you do the main beat, okay? Today my friends were singing, they come around to help me write a song. We tried out many tunes, but the things I wrote about all were wrong. And someone said, someone said, someone said, someone said, what about? It's a 
wrap. Thank you very much for a very good shoot. Thanks very much. I'd like to keep on acting because I must go to more exciting places like England or America or Indonesia. Hey, what about seeing that song for Steve going up there? Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Mario Cortez. I don't know if I'll be an actor. I haven't made up my mind yet. Big cuddle. Oh. 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 I've got a lot of invitations for places. Where I grow up, I'll be an actor. You always say. Have you? No. After lift off, yeah, we're going to keep in touch. We write to each other, bring each other, we might visit each other. Have holidays with each other, maybe? Yeah. yeah.